So it all started in the making of Anablox episodes 1, 2 and 3. When I finished episode 1, I took a break. While I was watching a bit of Soup Potato, I heard a bang! So I rushed to my cupboard to see what it was. It was a green bag filled with old Mr. Men books. So I took them to my room and started to read them. As I read them, one by one, day by day, I think their stories were very cool. Then one day, I decided to watch the Mr. Men show. And to be honest, the characters were cool. There was Mr. Tickle, Mr. Happy, Mr. Nosy, Mr. Bump, Mr. Messy, Mr. Small, Mr. Nervous, Mr. Noisy, Mr. Lazy, Mr. Funny, Mr. Fussy, Mr. Bounce, Mr. Strong, Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Quiet, Mr. Tall, Mr. Rude, Mr. Scatterbrain, Mr. Stubborn, Little Miss Bossy, Little Miss Naughty, Little Miss Sunshine, Little Miss Giggles, Little Miss Helpful, Little Miss Magic, Little Miss Chatterbox, Little Miss Curious, Little Miss Scary, Little Miss Whoops, Little Miss Daredevil, and finally, Little Miss Calamity. And to be honest, they were very good characters. But then one day, I started having a favourite character. A character who may be Sundari. A character who had a birthday in an episode. A character who had a secret smile that was extremely cute. A character who was a bad-tempered fellow, but very popular. That's right, Mr. Grumpy. And the reason for that is because he had a cool advert for parties. He cried once, which made me feel bad and cry too. <laughs> He had a birthday which was extremely shocking. He had done his cute eyes twice. He was so cute. He had been tickled by Mr. Tickle which also made me laugh. He smiled a bunch of times that made me smile too. Miss Scary had a mask with his face which was also shocking. He had a robot counterpart which made him emotional. He had taken revenge on Mr. Tickle which made him sick in the end. And finally, he had a girlfriend and I ship it so much. Now you know why he's my favourite character. He's the most used character in the series, and most popular, and the fan favourite, and it wouldn't be the same without him. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching this presentation, and I'll see you later. Bye. Crooked Cucumbers!